Господи, что это, Саш? Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm Seat. Ukrainian strategy to target Russian industrial and logistical capacity continuing unabated. Now, a Russian metallurgical plant which produces about 20% of all Russian steel has been seriously hit. Will this strategy yield results? There is no doubt about it, it's just a matter of time. A Ukrainian drone flew to the Novolipetsk metallurgical plant or two, or three. A big fire started. By the way, NMLK produces at least 18% of all steel in Russia and is key in the NLMK group of one of the richest people in the Russian Federation, Vladimir Lysin, about 80% of all products. NLMK supplies steel, alloys, and rolled products to Russian defense industry enterprises that produce ballistic and cruise missiles. This is one of the key enterprises of the strategic industry. This way, enemy missiles are riveted from its steel, alloys, and rolled products. It looks like Russian air defense has shot down another A-50 of its own unless it was Budinov or Ukrainian saboteur taking over a Pantsir S-1. The A-50 was shot down more than 200 kilometers from the front line. The only thing that could have shot it down was S-200 or a fighter that sneaked into the territory of the Russian Federation. The maximum range of the missile R-27 Dalar is 130 kilometers. By the way, the video shows the explosion of the first missile, which went into a heat trap or self-destructed the second hit later. Usually missiles with passive radar and infrared sensors are launched in pairs. It is well known that the fighter's radar must illuminate the target throughout the flight, so this variant is possible, but doubtful. There is also a variant with R-27EP, which works against radio-emitting air targets, more than 110 kilometers. Harm also can be used against radio-emitting targets 150 kilometers range. The option that the F-16 were delivered a little earlier than officially announced is also possible, and there is a completely different range of means. Local civilian allegedly looking at the remnants of the A-50 plane somewhere at Boret's Truda farm in Krasnodar cry. Это крылья его, блядь. Какой крылья, блядь? Смотри, внутри пустой. Видишь? Вот. Название его 343А Удель на ветке РВ. Russian Telegram channel Fighter Coper confirms destruction of A-50. A-50 is lost. It is currently unknown who shot it down. All assumptions do not work. But 256 kilometers from contact line? From this video, it is clear that the crew had information that a missile was flying at them. They knew. They did what they could. What they should. Eternal flight. So the Russians also suspect that they shot down their own plane. On the second anniversary of the aggression, burned Russian column from February 24, 
черти нахуй, вот нахуй, блядь. Кто придаст, сука, на нашу землю нахуй, он так и сдохнет, пидорасы ебани нахуй. Вы будете проклятые, блядь. Ты взял мой столет? I think Polish farmers might want to hear this. Russian propagandist Soloviev. Do the Poles want to be next? They are not Ukrainians. We will not treat them like brothers. We'll bloody destroy all those cities in an instant without using ground troops. It's Ukraine we feel sorry for, but there, in Poland, we'll fight like the Americans in Iraq. We will simply, I am not sure about nuclear strikes, but with missile strikes and air strikes, I am sure, we will just freaking destroy them. And we won't even think twice. Но в этот раз мы из Европы не уйдем. Так именно, в этот раз именно, мы, мы не будем с Европой поляк, разговаривать, мы не будем с Европой мириться. Хотят поляки быть следующими, это не украинцы. Мы не будем к ним относиться как братья. Мы нахрен уничтожим все эти города, вот просто на счет раз. Не используя для этого сухопутные войска. Это мы Украину жалеем. А здесь мы будем воевать, как американцы в Ираке. Мы просто ядерными ударами не уверены. А ракетными ударами и авиационными уверен, просто нахрен уничтожим. И даже думать не будем лишний раз. Polish Foreign Minister Radoslaw Sikorski. Radoslaw Sikorski spoke at the UN Security Council on Ukraine yesterday. He devoted his speech to challenging claims made at the forum by Russian Ambassador Vasily Nebenzia that his country is the victim of aggressive Western policies. I associate myself uh, with the words of uh... Minister Kuleba of Ukraine and my colleagues from the European Union. Um, but I am amazed at the uh, tone and the content of the presentation by the uh, Russian ambassador. And I thought I could be useful by um, correcting the record. Uh, ambassador Nebendia has called um, Kiev the clients of the West. Actually, Kiev is fighting to be independent of anybody. He calls them a criminal Kiev regime. In fact, uh, Ukraine has a democratically elected uh, government. Um, he calls them Nazis. Well, the president is Jewish, the defense minister is Muslim, and they have no political prisoners. He said that Ukraine was wallowing in corruption. Well, uh, Alexei Navalny dem uh, documented uh, uh, how um, honest and full of probity uh, his own country is. Uh, he blamed the war on US neocolonialism. In fact, it is Russia that tried to exterminate uh, Ukraine in the 19th century, again under the Bolsheviks, and it's the third attempt. Thanks for watching, guys. We are following these attacks. We will report about them. Until then, stay with Warhawk Defense. Comment, like, subscribe, become our member and Stay strong. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.